Hey YouTube, it's Marquita and today is beta day number 29 and I am here to actually do an off topic um, off of my beta list of topics to bring a little bit of a vent or a rant. <clears throat> it's something that just happened so I am like totally in my feelings. So I was speaking to an acquaintance and I was talking about how I moved out here to Seattle and about my relationship and other things like that. And this person is going through their own things in their relationship, love life. And the statement was made that you moved to Seattle and look at you. Now you have a wife and a baby. Lucky you. And to the average person that might not bother them it might actually make them happy to be like yeah lucky me like look at how the universe lined things up but for me it struck a chord and it really has kind of irked me and it's irked me for this reason lucky me is such an insensitive string of words when it comes to me because I feel like I have not been lucky at all. <laughs> uh, as far as the wife front, I had to be in a lot of relationships that were not good. I've been in relationships and suffered domestic violence, domestic abuse. Um, and it took a lot for me to recover from that. So I wasn't lucky in that aspect. Um, I've been cheated on. Um, I've been just awful relationships before I was blessed enough to find my amazing other half, which is Krista. So not lucky in that aspect at all. I'm, I guess, lucky now because I am in a happy marriage. But to get to this point, I had to grow to be able to get to this point. As far as having a child, not lucky at all. Riley is my miracle baby because I've had three miscarriages. I had a baby that passed away at 19 days old and I suffered 13 months of infertility before I ever was able to conceive Riley. And then I went through 10 months of joy nonetheless but hell at the same time worrying if i was going to have another miscarriage worrying if there was going to be something wrong with riley and then getting up to the birth and you know having my birth dreams crushed and you know going through another surgery to get riley here so in that aspect i'm not lucky either i am blessed i will say that i'm blessed that the universe has put me on these paths because some people would not be strong enough to handle some of the things that I've gone through. And in life in general, that's just the tip of the small iceberg of how difficult my life has been. But what I have done is taken those experiences and figured out how can I grow from these experiences? What am I, what lesson do I need to learn? What am I being taught? And out of all those bad relationships, I learned how to not jump from relationship to relationship. I learned how to not U-Haul in lesbian relationships. I learned how to love me, take myself on dates, be comfortable with who I was before I ever met Krista. And once I did all those things, then bam, there she was. And I was ready because if I would have met Krista a year before I met her, a year before I initially met her, or even six months before I met her, I would have not been ready. We would have not probably been married. We would not have this family. And, you know, who knows where I would be as far as my experience with babies. I can't honestly say that I would be... Um, you know, I hate when people say, well, everything happens for a reason. That statement pisses me off. But I do feel like I have grown from the loss of four children, three from miscarriage, one after um, she was born and lived here for 19 days and graced me with her presence. Um, 
I feel like I've grown from that and those experiences have allowed for me to grow professionally because now my passion in life is to want to help women who are without support or who are going through a very difficult time women who are pregnant with babies that have serious medical conditions women whose babies may not may or may not survive once they get here in this world and women who are going through infertility uh, those experiences have allowed for me to be able to help others but i'm not lucky in any sense of the word it's really easy to look at the pictures of me and krista to look at the videos of us to watch us interact and think oh my god they're so so lucky and i wish that i had that but i encourage anyone who feels like that about our family to just realize that we both not just myself but krista has gone through a lot of difficult things in her life as well and those things have those those things have shaped us into the people we are today in order for us to have the things that we have now and be happy and be able to enjoy and cherish everything that we have in our lives so this rant was to say don't always judge a book by its cover which means the negative side that we taught that we were taught when we were younger that don't judge people because you don't know them it goes on the positive side as well just because someone's life looks like it's wonderful on the outside you don't know their story you don't know what they've been through unless they share those things with you and even still they may not have told you all of the things that have gone on in their life for them to get to that point so walk on your own path what is yours is yours and the journey that you're walking on is your personal journey because that is the way that it is set up to be um, and you can't live someone else's life because then it wouldn't be yours so that is my rant that is my soapbox for the day yeah and I wish that I could share this video on my personal Facebook page so that this person who said it could not ever say anything like this to anyone else but I will address it in private because that's just not the kind of person that I am but that is my beta day 29 completely was not what we, I was going to blog about today. Um, and maybe you guys will get a beta day too. So you guys don't get just like a rant, but, um, or a beta day part two for day 29. Um, but yeah, that is my vlog for the day. Don't assume, assume it makes an ass out of you and me. So don't assume. Alrighty, well, thanks so much for everyone submitting your questions. Don't forget to go to my Veda Day number 28 vlog and insert your questions for Veda Day number 31, The Final Frontier. And Krista and I will answer all your questions. And if I'm not back today with the Veda Day 29 part two vlog, then I will see you guys tomorrow for Veda Day number 30. We are coming into the home stretch. See you guys later. Bye.